This is a continuous improvement movement Reserved for the few with the grit to prove it Everybody claim but the click exclusive Many pursue but it's too elusive They lack discipline so they lack vision and goals They not listening close They not fit Hey everybody, my name is Calvin Williams with Improver And I have a very exciting presentation here for you today I'm meeting with a great friend of mine uh, Somebody I have immense respect for Pedro Fierro uh, he is a recent graduate from the Improver Accelerator. Uh, this is a process we use so that folks can own, earn their Lean Six Sigma green belt in a shortened time frame, uh, as few as six weeks. I think there's still some more coursework for you to complete for the white, yellow, and green belt, right, Pedro? And then uh, you'll get the official green belt certification. Uh, but I would say the hard part, the heaviest lifting, is already done. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, no, my, my, I got my feet wet now. <laughs> Excellent. So, Pedro, if you want to give a, a brief introduction, and then uh, we'll, I got a couple of questions I want to, I want to ask you. Absolutely. So, my name is Pedro Ferreira, and I am a business broker. I help people sell their business confidentially, and um, I've been doing this for about eight years now, and and I really enjoyed the craft. I'm consistently trying to learn um, things that can uh, sharpen that. I have a, a certified mergers and acquisition uh, uh, certification. I have other certifications in in other areas, and I was really interested in the subject of uh, Lean Six Sigma, and I knew nothing about it before I took this course. So your case is very interesting because, like you say, you're a business broker, right? Well, for people trying to sell a business or trying to buy a business, right? You help you help manage a transaction, but I think from our conversations. Um, what we do with Lean Six Sigma and operational excellence, operations improvement is of interest to you because if a seller is interested at interested in getting a better value for the business, uh, perhaps they can improve some operations to drive out costs, drive up revenue, and then and then potentially sell for a higher value, right? Absolutely. It definitely applies to uh, business owners that I'm dealing with, specifically, especially in the manufacturing industry, but even others. You know, I think any, everybody can improve on their processes. Absolutely. I mean, if you can do more with less, right? It's it's always a good it's always good for business, right? Um, and it, it even for a buyer, they may may benefit from being able to evaluate the opportunity for improvement of operations prior to buying. So that uh, so that they can so they can drive so after acquisition they can drive up more value into the business. So, um, so what we talk about is value creation, right? At the end of the day, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so a couple questions for you. So you just finished your accelerator. Tell us what was your goal. Uh, give us some of the details behind that. Yes. Yeah, so my goal was to decrease the buyer response time to one day from over seven days. Uh, that sounds crazy that to say that sometimes, you know, uh, I may have a business that is for sale and someone inquires about that business and I can't get back to them. You know, they'll get something from our office and people reach out to them. But me as the individual broker, sometimes it would take me longer, especially if I already had a buyer engage with that respective business. It would take me longer than seven days to get back to the other ones that could have been a backup plan or just somebody to network with. Um, this is actually a uh, issue that is rampant in the um, business brokerage industry. Uh, oh. I think th there needs to be some sort of innovation in how things are run because um, uh, people consistently complain about that. I hear feedback from um, other buyers that this is something that happens a lot. In fact, they f think sometimes that I'm the more on the responsive side than other brokers, which is crazy to say. Um, and even like, you know, some of the websites, the classifieds that you go on and you, um, if you look up, you know, I want to inquire about this business and you click on there, the classified website will tell you that the broker will get back to you within 48 hours or longer. Mm. So for me to want to decrease it to one day, I thought it was a lofty goal. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And you know, there's an expression in any type of sales or service uh, type of uh, arrangement is time kills all deals, right? Correct. So you having a, a much shorter response window makes you a much better service overall, right? Yeah, Excellent. I agree, yeah. Okay. So what, after going through the accelerator six week process, what kind of results did you achieve? So 
even before the six weeks were finished, I would say by week four, I was down to the one day response time. And after that, those other two weeks were just more of me training myself to stay consistent with that response time. So I was really impressed with the process, you know. So, we so you, you started from an average, average of how many days? What was the, your starting point again? Over, over seven days response time. So you went from over seven days down to one day. And Correct. you had pretty much had a standard process to the, to continue that forevermore into the future. Yep. And, I, and I've stayed consistent. I think it's been a few weeks now since I implemented that beyond the six weeks. And I've stayed wow. consistent, you know. That's fantastic. Wow. That's great. That's great. And what, what do you feel that that's done for your business? You know, I, I definitely uh, got an offer on the business that I was not expecting since then. But through reaching out to some uh, previous people that I thought had fallen through the cracks, um, you know, so that's like a direct result, you know, more money in my pocket if this deal closes. Uh, but also it's just been like, uh, you know, even through the classes too, being exposed to certain things, um, you know, it's really just changed the way I even uh, um, conduct myself as a person, you know. Interesting. And, yeah. And you've kind of yeah. taken your game to a new plateau. That's great. That's awesome. Correct. And you got a, a great sales case study to come to go with that, right? You've got a customer who uh, you otherwise probably would have missed out on has uh, mm -hmm. is now engaged and you kind of in, in the due diligence of a transaction. Is that is that what's happening? Yeah, we're supposed to close the first week of September. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, best of luck to Thank you. I hope, uh, hope everything works out. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So in, in, in throughout the accelerator, you, you make a series of improvements. And if you do it right on schedule, you end up making about 11 improvements to your way you operate. Right. What would you say were two of the three most impactful things that you did in route to achieving your goal? The first one was to have a specific date set for that task. That was uh, that's one of the things that we learned in 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 this discipline, and that you you definitely want to set time aside for whatever you want you want to do, and and I implemented that in my own process, and it's we have we don't have a set schedule, you know, uh, we have buyers and sellers calling you whenever they want to, things happening every day that you're not expecting, so it was, I think that's why this is a problem in uh, business brokers that people can't get back to you because you don't know when how your day is going to go, but. By doing this, you know, I took control of my own schedule to say that even if whatever happens at that time, four o'clock, I'm going to do that task and then everything else can go around that. So that was a big improvement for me to nail that down. You know? Yeah. OK, that's interesting. Right. Because as we see in this accelerator, you know, success is a lot of a lot dependent on how time management and what you do with your time. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you putting your time toward the most valuable things? for your business. And you decided early on when you set your goal was that getting back to these potential buyers was the most high impact way for you to use your time. And mm -hmm. what you just said, you just set that four o'clock every day. This is sacred time. All other things can wait. I got to handle this. And that you feel like was the, the basically opened up a whole new future for you basically. Yep. Correct. You know, and then another one was just setting up a way to make sure and that and really it's a reminder on my phone um, or like a notification of what, when a certain keyword, which is that buyer signing the confidentiality agreement mm. so that I know I'm I am always uh, um, on top of everybody that is inquiring. So I'm seeing that throughout the day and then, you know, it gets compiled so that at four o'clock I just know to hit the hit that list. Interesting. Okay. So that's, so you, it sounds like you deployed some automation to, to do that part too. Correct. Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. Um, good stuff, man. So, so tell me, um, why did you decide to join the accelerator to begin with? What, 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 how did it catch your interest? I was really, uh, I was always curious about that term. I, I've had other people, um, say that to me that they studied Lean Six Sigma and it was all about, you know, um, efficiency and, you know, all these buzzwords. And I was like, I really just want to know what it's all about. And, and for me, um, it really sur surpassed my expectations because 
it's something that I had never worked on before. Um, you know, I can be uh, analytical and creative, but I've never been very good at setting structure and being organized. And, um, you know, it was really interesting to know that there's actually a discipline that teaches you how to do that in, in, a, in a way that's actually, you know, not to use a buzzword, but that's even efficient, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It's uh, it's about a hundred years of science behind all the lean six Sigma stuff, right? Scientific management was kind of the introduction over uh, of it. And that was over a hundred years ago. Right. So it's, mm -hmm. it's not a new thing. Um, but unfortunately there's a lot of people who t like yourself included had no idea that it was out there. Uh, had no idea it applied to them in their world, right? Uh, a lot of it comes from manufacturing, but to in your in your point, to your point, um, it applies in so many other places too. So, what did you like about the program, though? You, you mentioned a couple things, but just curious to know, like, what what did you find impressive? How do you think how you see yourself applying it going forward? What what you like about it? I think it's that it's kind of like as you mentioned, it's kind of science, a, a science. So I can apply that formula or those methods or that just that way of thinking to really any project that I want to accomplish. You know, I, I don't, I never had like a method before or a technique to be able to do to achieve my goals in, in that way. You know, so I thought that was awesome that I have that tool in my belt now. The whole program is, is also a testament of, to me, like Lean Six Sigma and those, in those um, terms, you know, like the way it's run the way the classes are like, you know, as I mentioned, I have other certifications and, and coursework that I did beyond college. And, uh, and, uh, you know, something that people always complain is, you know, these classes are dragging on. I'm not getting all the, you know, this, inf you know, it's all, there's all this extra information and the way it's written, you know, it's very effective. You take those courses, you understand the points, but it doesn't take, you know, extra time for you to get it. You know, you, you really understand it. And then, and then you apply it right away. You know, it's all happening at the same time. And then we're using those tools through the improver software that also, you know, exemplifies it. So it's really yeah. cool how it all comes together and so quickly and so effectively. Like, I, I feel like I understand the subject now. I mean, and, and I, I'm curious to learn more. And, you know, I could read a whole book just on each of those subtopics. But, you know, I feel like I get it and I could, like, teach it as, as you suggested, you know, before. That's awesome. That's perfect. Just from That's taking the six weeks, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what we want, actually, for you to be prepared to teach and coach yourself, because, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the intent. Right. We try to boil down the, the program to the critical things you need to nail down and then nail those things to such a level of quality that you got it. Right. And then mm -hmm. you can you can build upon that. You got a good foundation to build upon. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, good stuff, Pedro. I won't keep you any longer. Appreciate you making time to chat and tell your story. Uh, hopefully we'll continue to do things and help each other grow and be good partners going forward. Absolutely. Thank you for extending the opportunity. Yeah. The, ple the pledge is mine. So if anybody has interest in participating in a future cohort, check us out on LinkedIn. We usually set Lean Six Sigma green belt planning sessions, uh, find our events page, business page for improver and then events and look for the next planning session, jump in, We'll get you scheduled into a cohort. If you want to work directly with Pedro, drop us a line, uh, a message online, and we'll get you set up for a, a future cohort with him. Uh, he's uh, he's moving on to the coaching program. So uh, look for that if that's something you, you want to do. So, all right. Other than that, Pedro, thanks a ton. And everybody else. I look forward to engaging with you. Have a great week. The queen that could really get down for show. Connected in Colombia and Mexico. Accelerated past you. Check the scope. Just in time, not a second slow. From the top flow to the shop flow. Come on.